Welcome to the ninth episode of the Group Iron Man series. We're starting this one off actually by getting 75 magic. And I did this through Alking and doing the Archaeos library all the way from 72. The experience rate was actually around 120,000 an hour. And it's also cheap on runes because it doesn't cost any runes to get the book experience. So there we go. That is now 75 magic and we're going to go and get the imbued magic capes. So before I can start the imbue quest, I actually have to train with all these different staves, the Gothics, Saradomin and Samurai in the mage training arena. I'm not sure exactly how many casts it is I have to do, maybe it's like a hundred or something, and they're actually quite expensive. It's two blood runes per cast, so I might have to ask my teammates a bit for uh, some runes. But also, the reason why you have to do that is because you need to kill the bosses, the three bosses you have to kill, with the respective staves. So if you're killing the Samurai boss, you have to kill it with the Samurai Staff, and if you can't use that in the Wilderness, then you can't kill it. At times like this, I'm pretty happy I'm not in Hardcore Iron Man, because uh, otherwise I would not really want to do this, it would be uh, kind of risky, but I have to do 100 casts of each of these staves, I actually looked it up, and that would be 600 blood runes to complete all these staves, and then I'll have like 400 left to do the actual bosses, so maybe I don't have to ask my team for runes. One more cast, haven't been PK'd, and that is the Samrock Staff completed, 1 out of 3. Last cast for Gothics, and we're done with that one as well, so only one more to go. And this should be it, so there we go, done. So let's go and actually get the imbued cape now, have to kill the 3 wilderness bosses. I'm not sure exactly how hard this is going to be with my level, but uh, should be doable. So now I get this enchanted symbol in my inventory, and when I click it, it is basically like a clue scroll tracking device. It will show me where I need to go, and then the boss will spawn. There is three different ones. Of course, a Samurai, Gothics, and a Saradomin one, and I have to kill them with the respective staves. So let's see if I can actually do this. Look at the HP of this boss. 320, and if you don't kill it fast enough, it heals, and it hits through prayer as well. So that is why I was kind of concerned if I would be able to kill these bosses, because they are very, very strong. Uh, either way, I will have to go back and do more tries, because I really want to get this done. Also, you have to kill, like, a ball that it spawns now and then, so it doesn't heal, and if you don't kill it fast enough, it actually heals quite a lot, so... It is quite a hard boss to kill. It seems like we're going to get a kill here, actually. I just started kiting it around the tree. I still take hits, but it's not that bad. So that is the first one down. Very nice to see. Ends roots. And so now I have to go back and get my Saradomin or Samurai staff and kill that one. The Samurai boss is actually quite a lot easier. All you have to do is stay very far away from him because he shoots out these balls. And if they hit you, you take damage depending on how far away you were. I was kind of close to him in the beginning and I got hit for like a 25 and uh, now that I'm far away I get hit for like 1 damage or 2 damage and of course the consistent hits that the boss does is very high but uh, I should have enough food in my inventory to kill it. I mean it has 72 HP left and I have some food. That is the second boss dead and let's go for the third one and get the imbued cape. Definitely the scariest one, can we get the kill here please? I don't have much food left, there we go. Oh, that one was actually really intense, but that is the Justiciar's hand, and we can now actually get the imbued cape as long as I don't die with all these in my inventory. You can't actually bank them, so you have to bring them every time. All the pieces have been handed in, so all I have to do now, because I want the samurai cape, I'm going to use it on him, and let's imbue that cape. There we go, that is the imbued samurai cape. Let's actually compare it to the other cape. So let's take out, like, a Saradomin cape, let's compare the stats. The, uh... The normal one has 10 attack magic bonus, the imbued one has 15, and it also has 2% plus magic bonus, which is a very big buff. On the defensive stats, the normal one has a 1 stab, 1 slash, 2 crush, and 10 magic, and the imbued one has 3 slash, 3 stab, 3 crush, and then 15 magic. So this is quite a decent amount better, but I have to unequip this actually to be able to equip it. But look at that, it's so fancy. I mean, it's not a melee cape, but uh, I have to say, I look pretty stacked in this gear. I'm going to do some Slayer now, actually, because I need to work on 70 attack, because that is the level I need to equip the Aram staff. And then after that, really all I need to do before I can go into Solra again is get the Tomo Fire, which of course is a very RNG grind, and it might take a while, but uh, it would be the best thing to do for Solra, I do believe, because getting the Trident, which is the next upgrade, is a very long Slayer grind, and our Slayer guy is currently at 53, so it's going to take a while before we can get that. Stop. You violated the law. Click right here to subscribe to my channel.
If you've already done it, you can go free. My Slayer level is currently only 26, so we're going to level that up a bit. And I had a Bronze Dragon task, but I had like 40 of them, so I actually went to Coradel and skipped that. And I did a Wolf task, so let's see what we can get from Konar. I do want to do Konar because of the Brimstone Keys, they are so useful. Hopefully not something terrible as a task. Are you kidding me? Bronze Dragon back to back? Well, I guess we're skipping that again. Wait, did I say Curadel in my last clip? I actually meant Turadel. It's a RuneScape 3 thing, Curadel. I swear, if I get Bronze Dragons three times in a row, please do not do this to me. Fire Giant in the Stronghold Slayer dungeon. That is a good one, actually. What? A collection item on the first drop, a uh, Longbone, and uh, task completed, Walking Volcano. I actually have no idea what that even is. I guess it has something to do with killing a fire giant. Actually, I'm looking at these infinity boots and I'm thinking, why am I wearing these? I mean, I need the melee strength, I mean, they're fancy, but I should probably get the death plateau done. It's such a fast quest for the climbing boots that actually gives melee strength now that I'm going to train it. So I'm going to leave this area for just a bit and do the quest for the best boots I can get my hands on right now. It should be the quest completed. Yeah, there we go. 3000 attack experience as well and ability to make claws. If only you could make dragon claws, that would be nice. But uh, let's go and buy the climbing boots. 12 gold for some really nice melee boots, so let's buy those and you see 2 plus strength is very nice compared to the infinite boots that gives only magic bonus. I will have to grind quite a lot of slayer actually because we've kind of come to the conclusion that it's kind of impossible to only have one slayer person because if you're going to grind like 5 black masks, 5 whips, 5 primordial boots, 5 tridents, you know all the things, it's going to be insane for one person to do that and I'm kind of the combat guy of the team anyways along with Max Nick, so I might as well start a grind and it should not be all too long before we can actually start doing the black mask grinds together. He's 53, I'm 30, so I will have to catch up a bit. Actually from doing barrels I got a lot of these chaos runes and I might as well sell all of them for Tokol because I can spend this to actually buy the obsidian shield which gives 5 plus strength bonus and currently I'm using a god book that is damaged which gives basically nothing. It also has better defensive stats. I don't think selling all of these will get me enough. I need 67,500 so I might have to sell some other runes as well. If we can, it's so nice when you can just hold in shift and sell 50 at a time, it goes super fast. So yeah, I am uh, missing around 8,000. I actually went ahead and got the Karamja gloves because that gives a discount on the store and it is 58.5k. So I'm going to buy that now, I have the tuckle for it, so let's compare it. 5 strength, of course the minus 5 prayer, but then look at the defense bonuses, like 40 in everything and then 60 ranged. Also looks pretty good. So I started with 31 Slayer and that Fire Giant task got me all the way to 36. Next task is going to be Dagonoths in the Lighthouse. I think I need prayer for that, so that's going to be some prayer pots. Reason why I thought I would need prayer potions is because this is multi-area and you can see how many Dagonoths there are. So if I would have like four of them on me at the same time, I would probably get shredded. But maybe I can just stand here along the ladder and I will be fine. Look at that, the first brimstone key from my troll task, the Dagonoth task was super easy and I got this one, I think I am 40 slayer, yeah 40 slayer as well. Actually never really done this before but I got a weapon poison drop from Ankus and I just put it on my dragon dagger and it worked, so I have a dragon dagger poison now. If uh, I in the future can get the P++, that would be of course even more poison damage. Oh my god, look at this drop. Brimstone key and a curved bone in one drop. I think the brimstone key is like 1 in 100 from these and the uh, curved bone is 1 in 5000. So getting both of them in one drop is uh, very rare to say the least. I think this should be a good time to stop doing Slayer. I'm going to kill this one and it is the last one on the task I need to do. And after that, I'm actually going to hit exactly 50 Slayers so we get to end on an even level and I actually have five brimstone keys in my bank so we're going to go ahead and open those. I don't really know if there's any specific item I want to get from them but uh, alkyballs and money is always really good. I was actually thinking about unlocking bigger and badder but I only have 156 points so I don't actually want to spend all my points on that because if I do get like a bronze dragon task soon or something then I can't skip it. Hellhounds, that's actually a very good one but uh, let's open these five keys. As I said, mostly alkyballs I think is what I want, so let's just see what we get. Uh, redwood tree seed? I mean, I think it's worth a lot in the main game, but I don't know how good that is. How much is it actually worth? Can I even check? Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, there, 38k. It's not worth that much. Some alkyballs, 
some uncut rubies, and for the last one, even more uncut rubies. The only things I really need before I can do a Soldra efficiently is the 70 attack for the RM staff, which is not going to be a very hard grind to do, but I need the Tomo Fire, which is the really RNG based grind. So I'm going to do some Winter Todd now, but I'm going to do that off video. I mean, you guys have seen enough of it already, so I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys did enjoy it, and like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see future content, also click any of the videos on the screen right now if you want to see content right away. Have a good one, take care.